heroes these kids need. Speak up and don't let people tell you it's okay. Because one day we're going to have to answer not for how much money we made, but how much we cared about others. These kids are real, and their problems are real. And since the previous two generations didn't care enough to put a stop to it, it the baton's now passed to you, and we beg you to have a heart. This is what your country does to the kids in the womb. You ought to care. Are we right or wrong? And what are you going to do to help us? I will do everything I can. You can probably do more than you're doing, even though you're a teenager. Through a woman's body and her choice. Is that a woman's body right there? Different DNA usually implies a different body, doesn't it? A different person? Am I right? I'm right. You know I'm right. I am right. When they're murdering human beings on a large scale, a moral person does something. They don't just stand by and watch. But yeah, so just help them. I talk to my mom about it, and it's like, like the babies that could get killed, like, could like have the cure to cancer or something. They could have, yes. Could have done a lot of things. Yeah. And even if they couldn't, I mean, what we are and the ways we're valuable has nothing to do with what we contribute to others. We're valuable because of God's sight, you know? Yeah. Hey, brother. Nice suit. What do you think? Are we right or wrong? Uh, I, I agree with you guys. You should help us then. No, it's okay. It's not okay, brother. Hey, man, it goes on because people like you and me have ignored it for so long. Unborn baby, who your country has decided is not a person and therefore has no rights. But he's not alive yet, he How is he not alive? Is he growing? Yeah. Is he taking in nutrients? Yeah. Is he giving off waste? I honestly don't know. Well, he comes through the umbilical cord. Will he respond to stimuli? Yeah. So those are the factors determining whether something is alive or not. What else would you need to have to be alive? That's a fair point. Yeah. What do you think, man? Are we right or wrong? About what? About this. Are these fetuses people? Do they deserve respect? Do they deserve equal protection under the law? Me? I don't give a fuck about anything. You don't give a darn? You haven't been made into a good citizen yet. You really should care about something. I'm not Just let me tell you. You were born to be a hero. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no... People think the world's full of gray. It ain't. It's very black and white because every moral decision is black and white. You can either step up to the, your duty, whatever that may be, or you can just pass it off and do the easy thing. Why out here? I mean, like, I'm not like questioning. I'm just wondering why like here. It is Northern Virginia. Very few places where you find people walking around who you can engage face to face. All right. Schools, colleges, some shopping centers. Centers. That's pretty much it. So there we are. Plus, you guys, the next so, generation. Again, while we, totally regret being we feel we should counter some of the lies that are probably being spoken of in public schools. Before you're sold, you've completely made up your minds and everything. Here we are. The greatest pro-choice argument out there. Finger in the air. Grow up, guys. How you doing? You okay? I'm good. Oh, you're fantastic. I'm my arm workout. Oh, I believe me. I know. Today, everybody doing all right? Let's give a cheer for, for being born yourselves and having a birthday, right? So I know a lot of people put a lot of stuff in your ear and they try to promote the murder of children like this. They want you to get along with it, to silence voices like that. Have a heart, guys. Now, Not like the previous two generations. Have, have a heart. Hand in the government action. So of course they're going to stand by and tell you that's okay. Bullying is bullying. Not destroying or being cruel or mean to people that cannot defend themselves. Where's a greater example of bullying than abortion itself? Here, there's a school building. I know there's a school there, the but it's not. I'm, I know but it's not school property. This rights. is school building. I understand that. that children they don't have coming down to see beings. murdered children. That's right. That Do you think that that's right? It's absolutely right. Tell me, tell me why that's right. Because you guys have to put a change. For multiple children to be walking out of school to be seeing this. Because your country's doing it, this is how you stop things. There's absolutely no reason I need to stop. Okay, this is stupid is what it is. You're it not is being stupid, affected. I agree. All, most of the children that are coming out of that school building... Are taught, these children are taught that this is okay. They are not adults. Well, I'm sorry. If you and all of you that are protesting right now 
Can you Anthony? talk to her so I can talk? Hey, hey, come here. To see no this. To hear so, like I said, you listen. people should have the right to, to you bring their baby. own opinion. You're not a baby. And not be no, told I'm not a baby, say. and I'm happy right? I'm here. Okay. But guess what? These, I have your a peers friend. are not babies. I have a friend who wishes okay. she was aborted. Well, that's foolish, and she's, you should get her psychiatric help. This is cruel. Cool. Okay, it's okay. It's great. They listen. Just, just how you're voicing your opinions. Um, we have a right to voice so our opinions. I know you do. I'm happy they listen. Let you guys you have the home. I'm opinion. a fellow fucktard too. Uh, because he said, Brother, grow up. <laughs> did you just tell him to grow up? What did yeah, he I know. Like, I don't know if he can. I, I want to know how this is going. What, how is what? What results is this generating? In the short term, it generates anger from a culture that thinks abortion is fine. Boys and girls who have to walk out. You're also 17 and 18, so what? If you lived in Nazi Germany, you would show pictures of the Holocaust to people. We're not in Nazi Germany. Yes, you are. You essentially are. You're calling this a Nazi culture? You're behaving like it. A Nazi culture includes totalitarianism rule. For those kids, it's totalitarian. The fact that I can't make a choice. You're just a privileged class is all you are. I can't make a choice. Are you serious? It's pro-choice. It's a woman's body. It's not a woman's body. Are you a father? No, I'm not a father. I've had three abortions, one in high school, one when I was in my 20s, and one in my 30s, and I regret them all. The first one, actually, thanks to the school system, I didn't care about. But I do regret them because I would not have three children that would have been loved and cared for. Because when you have babies like that, yes. when you have babies like that instead of women that can die, it's tragic. It's tragic, tragic, yes. That's no excuse for homicide. It's the same thing. No, it's not homicide. That baby, Why is it not homicide? That baby is not full of skin cells. Look at this. What does this look like? Not, not that, does alive. that look like just a... This is not alive right there. Open his eyes so that fingernails. They're the same age, brother. They're it's the same homicide. age. It's pro-choice. Oh, it is not Same a thing. thing. It's fucking pro choice. You are the ones. You shouldn't be. You're, you're, they're adults. They're Brother, adults you've been breathed birth. lies. Vomit them forth, okay? But we don't expect that you murder one person to defend We're another. They're not murdering people. They weren't even born yet. They aren't even Look alive. Look at that they picture. Can't How breathe. does that? They can't sleep. They can't eat. You mean they can't breathe? The same kids. They can't. They're, they're stuck know. inside of a woman's womb. It's her choice. If she wanted that to have an abortion, nothing. she would. That's just talking points, sister. Come on. It's not fair for women who are going to die, who were raped, Dylan, who had children because they were forced to. But I'm undecided on this issue. Mm -hmm. um, I come from like a conservative family, but I honestly I haven't thought about it much because it's not something I'm faced with. I know. What really quickly before I go to work, and again I'm undecided. Um, what's like the the basis of the argument? That you're Almost everybody agrees it's wrong to kill innocent human beings. We think it's indisputable that these are innocent human beings, regardless of how young they are. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's wrong. We should call it murder just like any other form of murder. We should treat it like any other form. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are angry. And I, I of course they are, know. yeah. I mean, it's a... Debatably, one should be angry, but I... I'm more, I'm more of a legalistic person. I don't think you're going to change the law until you change enough people's minds. That's why we're at a school instead of Congress. We got to change your minds and the culture attitude towards this stuff first. Right. I understand that. Um, I wonder how effective it is. I mean, it depends yeah. on who's willing to engage and, and how. Um, we didn't, you notice we didn't start any yelling here. We got yelled at mostly. Sometimes yeah. I would talk I mean, over so people. I would, I would hope that you guys understand it's, you know, they're high school students. Oh, yeah. yeah don't, I, I want to say don't take it too personally. But sure. I, I don't know. I just, I find it, I've been, I've had times in my life where certain arguments convince me one way and <laughs> other arguments convince me another way. But honestly, I think I'm, I'm a pro-life person. It's difficult. I know it's hard to sympathize with a, a microscopic being. Right, but that it's, easy, it's easy to sympathize too with, I mean, just on an emotional level, well, it's, it's easy to sympathize with someone who is, not even is stuck in a situation where yes. they have a child they don't want. Yes. But I, I, I agree, though. That, I know that may seem confusing to some you know, high school kids, but in a, in a legal and even in a moral sense, why is one worth more than the other? Yeah. It's just a matter of time. And of course, it's wrong to kill a baby. It's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good talking to you guys. Yes, miss. Better to talk than me all, I think. I appreciate it. God bless. So, um, anything else folks who would like to say? I, it was a good thing we hit this place up. We'll probably go to another high school next week. Uh, <laughs> like you got to stand up for what you believe in. You, know, yeah. you care about human life. You care about different lives. And we don't like murder, period. 
and these people have a different form or idea of murder. So they so. try to act like it's not. Yeah. yeah. Not oh, they don't have feelings. They're not alive. The most, the most, the most I heard was, oh, they don't have pray. Yeah, pray. can you pray for well, us? Thank you, Father God. Uh, You know, we're standing in a bloody ground uh, marked by the, 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 the shed blood of the innocent and it's crying out against us. And so we look again to the blood, the bloody cross of Jesus Christ, uh, where the righteous blood was shed for many. And we pray that that blood will replace the, the unjust blood of these children and uh, that there'll be genuine change, the abolition of abortion in our country. We pray that we'll leave here resolved to stand with the work until you see fit to bring us down or to bring this down. Uh, we pray that you'll be exalted in this land, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.